So what do what do you guys have to work with today? Who's using PVC slash broomstick and who's using a barbell? I have a barbell. I have both. You have both. Okay. And then Rich, you said you have a barbell. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, mostly what we're going to do is going to be technique, different technique drills. Like we'll probably put it all together at the end, but mostly, um, we're going to do some different drills. Uh, so PVC or barbell is fine. Um, if you get too tired using the barbell, feel free to drop down to a PVC as well. Um, and we're going to work on snatch today and then we'll probably do clean and jerk next month. I think I'll say goodbye now. What? <laughs> I think I'll say goodbye now. Goodbye. Now. Snatch. Forget that. But all right. Let's do it. Why not? You'll, you'll learn. A lot of this applies to the clean and jerk, too. So if okay. you want to just, like, do a clean instead, that's fine. Um, We're going for it. <laughs> um, just use the PVC to start anyway. Of course. Um, so has anybody warmed up yet, or you guys all just been sitting around? Sitting around. Well, I just did a three and a half minute plank to try to beat Rich, who <laughs> been phased by <laughs> planking at all. So. Oh man! <laughs> oh, you were gonna beat him, Crystal. I was like, oh, forget it. <laughs> oh my God, he didn't even budge. He wasn't even yeah. like shaking. I was like, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> then he did side planks. <laughs> just oh. a good ass. Oh. All right, so let's do a little bit of a warm up then. Um, so we're going to lay on the floor. So feel free to, um, you know, I'll kind of walk you through the first round. We're going to do a couple rounds. Um, so let's lay on your back and we're going to start with glute bridges. So we're going to go 10 times up and down. So really think about squeezing, opening up your hips, but not arching your back. 10 times. <laughs> Can you guys still hear me down here? Yeah. Yes. Yep. And that's really squeeze your glutes at the top. Open up those hips. Feel a stretch in your hip flexors. You've done 10. You're going to turn on your side, tuck your top knee up to like 90 degrees, and we're going to do 10 open books. So touch the floor behind you and then hands back. You can hold your knee down if you want. Let's go 10 times, stretch as far as you can, and then we're going to go 10 on the other side. So, Karen, put your knee on the floor. Yeah, tuck it up more like 90 degrees. All the way up. Yeah, now put your right hand on top of your knee. Hold it down. Yeah, and now stretch with your left arm. Good. Yep, keep your knee on the floor. The goal is to have enough range of motion to touch your hand to the floor, and your head should be watching the arm that's moving. I know you're trying to look at me. <laughs> So 10 times and then switch to the other side and go 10 the other way. Once you've done 10, we're going to come up into a kneeling position. I want your knees about squat width, hip width apart. <laughs> and then you're going to rock back, butt towards your heels, keep your feet flexed, and then come back up. So see how my back stays straight the whole time? We're not going to go into like a rounded position at all. So brace your core, try to sit your butt back towards your hips, butt back to your heels. And you can play around with getting a little wider or a little narrower with your knees, depending on how that feels for you. But you want to be a boat squat with, so it's going to be a little wider than your shoulders.
and reps. Good. And now let's get the shoulders. So face down, arms out in front of you, and we're just going to lift just the shoulders up 10 times. I want you to try, don't lift, lift your whole chest off the floor, just lift your shoulders. So you really want to use your shoulder blades. So try to keep your crystal, your head down a little bit more and just lift your shoulders. Yeah, there you go. And if you want, you can do five in a clean grip and five in a snatch grip if you want to change the angle. All right, and then let's stand up. And we're gonna get five air squats and let's pause on the fifth one in the bottom. So feet flat on the ground, drive those knees over your toes and then come back up five times. Really focus on keeping your chest up and vertical so we don't wanna be hunched over. Try to really sit your hips right in between your legs. And then on that fifth one, we're gonna hold it down there in the bottom. You can use your elbows to drive your knees out. I want you to think about keeping your big toes down on the ground. And I want you to take a couple of deep breaths and each inhale, I want you to think about widening your pelvis. So breathe in, feel the air go all the way down, make your pelvis nice and wide, and then exhale. All right, good. And then up. And then the last thing we're gonna do is more of like a dy dynamic squat. So we're gonna come up on your toes, and then we're gonna drop in as fast as you can to flat feet, stand up. Bring your feet back together, up on your toes, fast feet, and then come up. Let's do five of those. Drop down as fast as you can and keep that chest nice and vertical. Crystal that ankle mobility. My body feels old today. Uh, <laughs> It's the weather. Anybody oh, weather oh, today? Oh, God. <laughs> it's the oh. weather. Totally. All righty. So let's grab um, PVC or barbell. Probably PVC to start. How about a broomstick? Broomstick is perfect. How about Kai's bar? <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh. That's what I need. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna have. All right, let's do a couple of shoulder dislocates. Warm up those shoulders. We're going with the band. <laughs> oh, there you go. As far as I can go. Oh, do you only have a barbell, Jamie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a PVC. I actually brought my PVC from home to this gym because they only had little short stubby ones. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work for Snatch. Long one? Is it longer? It's fine. I'm just using Kai's bar, but my shoulders are old. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd want to do this with a barbell. <laughs> All right. So let's go up overhead into your Snatch overhead squat position. All right, so I want you to really think about opening up your armpits towards the front, pushing up towards the ceiling, so no saggy shoulders, really put punch up. Let's get into your squat stance, and let's do a couple of, let's do five really slow overhead squats. So pressing up to the ceiling the whole time, and then nice and slow down to the bottom. Even at the bottom, you still wanna be pressing up towards the ceiling, and then back up. So what I don't wanna see, if you look at me from the side view, I don't wanna see this with the shoulders way behind. Really punch up, stay vertical. 
five, nice and slow, warm up that position. I'm sorry, right, babe, I got this. And let's make sure you're not looking down, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How how are your hips and, and shoulders? Are you getting warm? All right. Changing shoes, Jamie? <laughs> putting shoes on. Oh, putting shoes on. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to start out with RDLs because those are really important for the clean and the snatch on position for the first pull. Um, so, you know, if you are using a barbell, an empty bar is fine. You don't have to put any weights on it. So I'm going to go over it first and then we're, um, we're going to do a couple of sets of them and I'm going to cue people as we go. So you're going to grab the bar, snatch with, so it comes right into the crease of your hips. So if you bend over, the bar is in the crease of your hips. All right. And then what we're going to do is feet about hip width apart. You're going to keep the bar nice and close. So I'm going to turn my knuckles down to the floor a little bit, and then I'm going to bend forward. We're going to come down to just about the kneecaps and back up. And you're going to see I'm pressing into my legs the whole time. You could have a slight bend in your knee, but this is not going to be a big bend. You're just going to come over so the shoulders are over the bar, keep pulling the bar back into you, and then come up tall. So we're going to do 10 times to the kneecaps and back up. And I want you to make sure you have a straight flat back, shoulders come over the bar and you're literally pulling the bar into you the whole time. So there's no separation. The bar is gonna drag against your thighs the whole time. So you're engaging your lats. So Jill, don't bend your knees so much. So just start with a soft knee and then just go forward with your chest. There you go, good. And then squeeze your butt at the top. Um, Karen and Crystal, can you turn to the side so I can see your angles? Yeah. So Karen, bend your knees a little bit. Yeah. And then just keep them that amount of bent the whole time. So bend them a little bit more, Karen. There you go. Yep, that's better. So did everybody feel the bar against their thighs the whole time? Yeah. 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 All right, so this time we're gonna add a little bit of a shrug at the top. So we're gonna do another 10 reps. It's gonna be the same form, but then at the top we're gonna add just a shoulder shrug. So that same position here. We're gonna come down nice and controlled down to right about the kneecaps, just above if you need to for flexibility. We're gonna come up, shoulders stay over the bar, and that last little bit, we're gonna shrug the shoulders and then come up onto the toes. So down, up, shrug. So the elbows are not gonna bend. We're not bending the elbows and pulling the bar at all. Down, shrug. All right, let's do 10 of those. So we should end in a nice vertical position. So no shoulders back. Keep your shoulders straight up over your hips. And the bar is going to stay close to you. So Crystal, you feel how your PVC yep. is going forward? Yep. Yeah. So keep your lats engaged so the bar stays right on your hips. So Crystal, you're leaning back a little bit at the top. Squeeze yeah. your butt and stay nice and vertical. Good, Karen. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't bend the elbows, Jamie. Nice and straight. Just a shrug. Good, Jill. Good, Rich. Just keep those lats engaged at the top. Nice and close. Yep, but just don't bend the elbows. Keep the elbows straight. There you go. All right, so you, if you have a barbell, definitely put it down and shake it out. All right, 
So common mistake is that we start to get behind the bar. Obviously it's easier when we're just doing the drill, but remember we're not going here because then the bar is going to come out this way. We want to be really, really vertical. All right. So it's just like that line of the PVC. We're not going past it. All right. So that last little bit really look straight ahead of you and make sure you're not coming behind the bar at all because that out, out of the hips is going to bump the bar out which is then gonna make it go all crazy when we start to actually snatch, all right? So let's do 10 more, just same thing, that RDL position to the kneecap, come up and then just shrug and come up onto your toes. Really focusing on vertical at the top, keeping your lats engaged so that the bar does not bump out forward at all. So Crystal, don't arch your back at the top, really squeeze your butt and make sure you're looking straight ahead. Jill, that was a little bit back, straight ahead. You just get like way into your head, like you think too much for like every single movement. <laughs> yeah, and that's, uh, that's the snatch for you, so technical. <laughs> All these little positions really make a difference. So um, like obviously we're gonna move on, but think about it, if that's something that you really had to think about and we're doing it incorrectly, even if it's with a PVC or a broomstick, like practice that because we want that to be second nature and just happen because we can't, once we're snatching, think about every little piece or the snatch is just gonna go crazy. Um, so, but the more we practice these each thing separately and master them, then it'll start to be automatic. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, but add a high pull. So I want you guys to think about like scarecrow arms, like 90 degree elbows, <coughs> palms facing down, elbows up. We're gonna add in that shrug and then a high pull, but we wanna really think about keeping the bar close again. So we don't want the bar to come way out. We want it to come straight up our body with elbows up. So the front view, you know, we're gonna do the same starting position, come down to your kneecaps, really think about pulling the bar in against your thighs. We're gonna shrug, and then we're gonna pull with the elbows up to the ceiling. So down to the kneecaps, pull the bar in, and this time we're gonna shrug and come up. But it's literally like, when I snatch, my shirt will literally lift up with the bar because we're keeping it so close. So don't let it come out here. All right, I really think about knuckles turned down to the ground. All right, so let's try 10 with that high pull. Really think about shoulders stay over the bar, nice and vertical, feel that bar skim your stomach, elbows nice and high to the ceiling. Nice, Jamie. And just think about pulling the bar to like your lower ribs. So we don't need to pull it like to your neck because we're never gonna pull the bar quite that high. Good. How did that feel, guys? Good. Yeah. Did you good. feel it nice and close? That everyone's looked good. I didn't see anybody's bar bumping out, which was good. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to add in a snatch monkey. All right. So better if you have PVC for this than a barbell um, <laughs> or a light barbell. Um, but we'll see what you can do. If not, you can just mimic it with the um, with your arms. Um, so Karen, you can try this. If not, we'll do it for the clean. That's fine too. Um, so this is essentially, if we were to pause right where we just were in that high pull, this is going to be how we're getting under the bar really quick. All right. So I'll show you from the front and from the side, and then we'll go through it together. So if you, can you see my feet? Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come up on your toes. So we're in that triple extension, elbows up to the ceiling, knuckles turned down. And this is literally touching my rib cage right now. 
And from this position, we're gonna pull ourselves under the bar as quick as we can into a snatch position, all right? So it's up on your toes, bring the bar up to your rib cage, pause there, and then it's gonna be getting under as quick as you can. All right, so side view, up on your toes, bringing it up here, knuckles down, and then all right. So the point of this drill is working on the getting under really fast, keeping the bar close and getting that turnover. So we're dropping under the bar because a lot of people tend to do like a power snatch and then just ride it down. And this is forcing you to really get under the bar quickly. All right. So let's try 10 of those. Um, if you have like a PVC, if you have something heavier then you might want less than 10 or like I said, mimic it just with your arms or, you know, Jamie, maybe try the band and see how that works. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Crystal, look straight ahead. Don't look down. Remember that uh, vertical position? Yes, yes. On. <laughs> it's been a few weeks. <laughs> Several. Hmm. Alicia, the turnover was good, but don't let your elbows drop. So keep your elbows and then punch straight up. You kind of turned your elbows down to press. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Nope. Oh, Karen, you froze. <laughs> oh, no, you're back. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> when I'm frozen. So, Karen, don't pull the bar so high. Try to get under it quicker. Like over here, get under it? Try to get your elbows, point your elbows up. Yep, so now just think more about going down with your body than you are about pulling the bar over your head. So get down, hips down. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Let me stop from here. Are we supposed to actually do it slow? <laughs> do what slow? Like stop sort of in the high pull and then do it? So it's a, so no, we're not doing the high pull. You're just going to start in that position just under the rib cage All and right. then just the drop under. So you don't have to do the RDL to the high pull. We're okay. just going to start from the high pull. Yeah, good bridge. Karen, look straight ahead when you go under. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that was really hard to do. <laughs> yeah, it's hard with a with a bar. I mean, I can't. I can barely do a bar that high from the, the PVC or a training bar. It's harder to band up because I like. They're, they can move yep. in and out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have a broom, huh? Um, I don't know what Justin did with it. We did have a broom, and he uses it for his PT. I don't know where it was. Oh, true. All right. That was tricky, huh? Weird place to start. What? It's just a weird place to start. You know, yeah. Like no momentum. I, yeah, it takes away all your momentum. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to do a snatch balance. So the bar, it's a similar idea of getting under the bar really quick into that finished position. But this time we're going to be, you know, starting with it behind our head already. So with the, this one's going to be much easier to do with a barbell. So you won't have to worry about that if you have a bar. But Back gonna, up like a tiny bit, Lauren. What? Back up just a tiny bit. Yeah, there you go. I look tiny from here, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> All right, so snatch grip. Make sure your elbows are pointing down to the floor and not back behind you. All right, think about getting your chest really vertical, looking straight ahead. We're gonna do a small dip and then drop under as fast as you can, punching that bar up to the ceiling. All right, stand tall and then you can put it back on your back. So we're not gonna really start on your toes. You're gonna start flat footed, just a small dip and then drop under as quick as you can. So side view would be, you know, chest up, look straight ahead, small dip, quick as you can, drop under, and then come up tall. So let's try 10 of those. Um, feel free to use a bar on this one. If you have a bar, it should be fine. And really think about that. So A, think about getting under fast, and B, think about your bottom position. So chest vertical. You don't want to be leaning forward. You don't want to be having your shoulders way behind you. So Jill, that was good speed, but the bar went too far behind you. Okay. So you want to push the bar straight up. 
So just pause in that, when you get to the bottom, pause for a second, Jill. Okay. Yep, so bring the bar a little bit more forward. Look straight ahead. So push up to the ceiling with your arms. Wow. Yeah. So, right, so your shoulders, like the bar, is back here. That's real big better than mine with your body, which is just not good for your shoulders in general. It causes shoulder issues in the long run. My knee's killing me. I'm going back to the broomstick. <laughs> it's like so tight from the weather. Yeah. Just like. I couldn't even do squats in today's workout. Karen, good speed. You just got to work on that balance position, which I know, you know, for you is a little bit of flexibility. But um, when you drop under, think about your knees going over your toes. You're shooting your butt right back. I want your hips right in between your feet and your knees over your toes. Better, better with your lower half. Probably doesn't help that it's lopsided with the broom, too. <laughs> yeah, a little. Nice, Rich. So, Jamie, I can't see your lower body, but your shoulders look good. <laughs> I know. There's not a good place to put this camera. <laughs> See if it helps if I can put it up and tilt it in. I don't know. You're still not gonna see it. Yeah, I think you're just, you're like too close. So I'm just seeing like, a, yeah, you don't want to punch a hole in the TV. Doesn't <laughs> just put it up yesterday. Yeah. So you're a little wide with your feet, Jamie. I'm so wide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> try to get your hips through a little bit more. A little starfishy. <laughs> Get my feet in. What? With with overhead squats, it's so hard for me to get my feet in. Yeah. At the end, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about like some mobility things because I think honestly, like your speed is pretty good. Um, your technique is pretty good for everybody so far. Um, but your uh, some people's mobility um, and core stability might be more of the problem, limiting some of the things that I'm seeing in the actual catch position. Um, so we can talk a little bit about uh, <laughs> what we should be doing for that. <laughs> um, so now I want to put it all together. All right. So if you have a bar, that's probably going to be a little bit better. If you have PVC, just keep in mind that it's so light that it will, you know, feel a lot different um, as far as speed. But I'm going to walk you through kind of all the things that we just went over, um, and then we're going to put it all together. So. All right. So we're going to start with the bar at your hips. So, you know, assuming because no one has any weights on their bar, we're just going to do it from the hang. All right, so find that starting position. Turn your knuckles down. All right, you're going to hinge over. We're going to come to right around the knee. And then I'm going to go slow motion. We're going to keep the bar nice and close. We're going to stand up. We're going to shrug up onto our toes. Scarecrow arms, so elbows at the top. And then we're going to start pulling ourselves under the bar quick. Punch up to the ceiling and then stand tall. So the side view, bar at the hips, knuckles down, straight elbows. We're gonna hinge forward to the knee. We're gonna come up, keeping that bar in nice and close. We're gonna shrug, elbows still straight, then bend the elbows and then we're gonna pull ourselves under the bar. All right, so we're gonna go normal speed, but I just want you to think about all those pieces that we just practiced, all right? So what you're gonna do is once you get in that nice position, Knuckles down, we're gonna come down to the knee, pause for a second, and then we're gonna start and do the whole thing nice and fast. 
All right. So why don't you guys do like, you know, three to five of them and then you can take a little break. I'm going to watch different people and then we'll, um, like I said, we'll wrap it up with some mobility stuff. I'm going to go to the power position. Yo, that's fine. Is that okay? Yeah. My knee's like, <laughs> done so. So Jamie, remember, punch straight up. Don't let that head come through at the bottom. Crystal, keep that bar nice and close. When you start to pull, keep it nice and close. So Crystal, your mm -hmm. speed is good, but you're ending up really hyperextended. Oh, make surprise. Sure when, after you pull and turn over, make sure you're punching up to the ceiling and not behind you. Better, you're just a little bit arched in your back to get there. So <laughs> try to sit your hips lower so that you're not like stripper booty. I'd love to see that. <laughs> You're missing the show. Rich, nice job keeping the bar nice and close. Whoop. <laughs> I jinxed you. <laughs> no killing Jill. So Jill, that was good. It was nice and close, but we just got to work on your position on the way down. You're a little wobbly and then you're looking straight down. So Karen, when you hinge over, lean your chest forward. Don't sit your, um, don't bend your knees so much. There you go. Yep. Better. Yeah, a lot better. Nice, Rich. Keep punching up to the ceiling as you drop under. Active shoulders. Up, punch. Good. Better, Jill. Aaron, remember, look straight ahead. There you go, Karen. That's better. I'm just trying to figure out how to put that back. But... How to put what back? I was thinking about putting it on gallery view because you would give them corrections. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Recording it, you could see the corrections and stuff. Yeah. So let's all go through at least one more time. But let's go one at a time. And it, yeah, and Alicia made a good point. If you want to go into gallery view so you can see each other, um, that could be helpful. So you can just kind of watch what other people are doing and watch what my cues are for other people as well. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to unspotlight it and just go to gallery view. Oh, it's like for everybody. Yeah, but I'm an idiot when it comes to this thing. Right. Rinse up, see those okay. So, oh, there we go. I got you guys. Can everybody see everybody now? Yeah. Okay. Right. There's six of us. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, technically seven. We've got two. <laughs> <laughs> we have two and one. So two for one. <laughs> All right. So who would like to go first? Crystal, ready. Yeah, cr Crystal's ready. <laughs> Thanks for volunteering. Yeah, Crystal! <laughs> what did I get for losing today? Is this what I get for losing? Yeah. All right, yep, we're going to go side view. And let's do, um, let's do, why don't you do two? I'm going to give you a correction and then we'll do like two or three more. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I know the PVC it's hard <laughs> yep exactly you didn't you got to finish make sure your hips are all the way open and you keep the bar close don't cut it short just because you're worried about speed I'd rather it be slow and correct than fast and wrong yeah that was better good and now really think about that squ overhead squat position when you're in the hole all right so butt a little bit lower and don't let your head um, come through that was better Yep, your chest is just leaning a little bit forward at the catch. Nice and vertical, punch straight up. Better, yeah, good. Awesome, who's going next? 
Karen? I'll go. I don't care. Oh, I'll Karen, you do it. Karen's get up. Who you go, it? Karen. You go. Oh, Karen, yeah. If everybody wants to laugh, you ready? No, oh, stop. <laughs> Okay. I think you get the hardest object. You've got an uneven <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, Karen, that was so much better. Wow. Seriously, was, even that. It was a lot better. Yeah. Stop right there, then. I literally, I think, <laughs> mic drop. That was, that was the best one I didn't of the day. Do anything wrong, so you don't have to fix it. Everybody saw it. <laughs> that was like PR. <laughs> Okay. All right, Alicia, you're up. Done. Me? I'm not <laughs> squatting, though. That's fine. Alicia's going to power because we're knee. My knee's bothering me. Can you see me? Yep. All right, cool. Maybe do qu quarter turn back a little bit. Or are you going to hit something? Yeah, there you go. Who knows? Maybe I might do Okay, so I just want to correct your um, actual hang position. You're shooting, you're bending your knees and setting your butt back. I want your shoulders over the bar more. So hinge forward a little bit more. Really think about that RDL position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now sweep the bar in so much better. Feel the difference? Yeah. Yep, good. So same thing and then really think about um, elbows high. Yeah, good, good. Could you guys see the difference between her first, just the hinging forward versus her second one? And Crystal, you started to do that at the end a little bit too. So we just got to remember that we want to be really over the bar with our shoulders and not behind the bar. All right, who's next? Sharps. The Sharps. Yeah. Woo. Good. Keep those, keep that upper back a little bit tighter. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Elbows high. Oh. Good. Nice. Good positions. I think we just need to work on the speed a little bit. And um, I don't know how your squat depth is normally. Um, you know, you're kind of hovering right around like horizontal or a little above. So. <laughs> Also, doesn't if you guys don't have lifting shoes on, it makes it harder to you. Can I ask you just a question? What? I have a question. Sure. When it goes above your head, like how far back are your arms really supposed to go? It should be right in line with your torso. Gotcha. Yeah, so we don't we don't want arms behind really at all. It should be just enough so that like from a side profile you can see your ear. Okay. But you don't want to see like the whole head. Okay, gotcha. So Jill, I want to see that shrug up on your toes before you start bending your arms. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Good, and that, that's a little better position too. You weren't so like arms back. Better. Nice. Her speed's pretty good too. Yeah, definitely. Both both of your speeds. I mean, it helps that they both have barbells too versus the PVC. Yeah, but, I actually use, yeah. yeah but it, yeah, you that <laughs> definitely um you know had that was nice and close and and fast drop under, which is good. Thanks. All right, Jamie. This is a terrible thing for me to do after sitting in a chair all day. <laughs> yeah. I kind of need some mobility for snatches. Oh my gosh. So don't stick your head out so far. When you start to drop <laughs> under, look straight ahead. The whole time, pick, pick a spot to look at and don't lose that spot. That was better with the head, but you didn't come into your full extension. So make sure you hit, open your hips all the way and then start the pull. Yeah, there, there you go, a lot better. That's better. Good. 
She's like, I'm going to end on the better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really a good place to start. Well, we're ahead. <laughs> if you know it's better, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> So was that helpful to kind of watch each other too and kind of see those different positions and what I was talking yeah. about when I was queuing? Good. So what? No, I saw that a doubt. It was great. Oh, good. All right. So now let's just talk a little bit about like mobility. Um, cause everyone's kind of like overhead squat positions only like eh, it's okay. Uh, um, so like Karen just asked like where are your arms supposed to be and ugh. <laughs> there you go almost we can almost see it <laughs> and i'm like how far back do i need to see yeah now we can see you better okay all right so a lot like i kept mentioning you might not have seen it on each other before is i see a lot of like looking down shoulders coming back this way all right and then even when your heads were up it was like the bar is way back here and we want to be in line with our foot. So it's middle of the foot right here, right in the center, not on your toes, not on your heels, but right in the center. That's where you want the barbell. So you have to work on your mobility. So that might mean going a little wider, turning your toes out a little bit more, um, but finding that spot where you can get a vertical torso and a vertical bar position, all right? Because when we're here, not only is that not going to be a good snatch, you know, number, you're not going to be able to do much weight, but you can also really hurt your shoulders. Um, so I want you guys to just like, don't even worry about your bar or your PVC, but let's just get into a squat. All right. And Alicia, if this bothers you, don't worry about it. I can, I can suck it up. <laughs> all right. So let's go side profile to the camera and make sure your camera's pointed down enough that I can see you when you're in the bottom of your squat. All right, so everyone, um, you know, maybe start with your toes turned out at least a little bit. And when we get down to the squat, I really want you to think about your hips going right in between your heels and not suiting your butt back. So really spread your knees wide, get your hips right in between. So if you were like holding onto the rig, you'd be like pulling yourself in. So in this position, we want to be as low as you can, like trying to touch your hamstrings to your calf. You want your chest up and a straight back. So you, in this position, you do not want your shins vertical. Like Rich, your shins are very vertical right now. Crystal, you're very vertical. You want your knees to be leaning forward over your toes. So if you're having trouble doing that, yeah, Jamie, you too. Yeah, your, your shins are really vertical. That, I mean, A is why weightlifting shoes helps a lot um, because that helps that with that mobility. Um, but that means you need to work on ankle mobility. So like, you know, see how, if you guys look at Crystal right now, see how low her butt is. I mean, her hamstring and calf are touching. Like she can't get any deeper than that. But see where her knee is in relation to her, like her knee is almost over her um, heel instead of over her toe. Way. So that position is going to be really hard to balance in if you're going quickly and dropping under a bar. She's going to probably going to fall over backwards. <laughs> if I could share the of my overhead squat that Lauren had you to attend. I know I was going to post it and then I was like, oh, we're not in the gym. <laughs> uh, but I, I made a whole post on Crystal's uh, overhead squat that I'll maybe I'll share. Uh, I'm like the typical later. person that has my arms like way back here. Yeah. <laughs> And she's having shoulder pain with, you know, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, so yeah, so we really need to work on ankle mobility if your shins look like they were vertical. Um, do you guys know what I mean when I say shins are vertical? Can you sit, do it again one more time? Sit back and show us. So, so vertical shins would be like battery. So. You know, if this is straight up, if your knees are kind of back in line with the PVC versus in front. So like if I put the PVC on my toes, my knee should be touching the PVC if not coming past it. So see how my knee is past the PVC? Can you see that? All right. So if you're back here, you need to work on ankle mobility. You know, it's probably not on your hips. So if you can lay on your back and you can get your knee to your chest on both sides, or together, and I'm not talking about knees touching in the middle, but if you can come all the way here, it's probably not your hip mobility, it's probably your ankle mobility. 
So if you're questioning whether it's hips or ankles, try bringing your knees to your chest. And if you can do that and it's you know, touching your torso, then it's probably not your hips. Yeah, and then pull both of them. So uh, Karen, get your knees wider. Like, yeah, now pull in. Yeah. So if you can pass that test of both knees towards your chest, so Crystal, not knees together, but yeah. yeah. I meant uh, don't let your knees touch in the middle. Keep them like that distance apart. And if they don't touch, what is it? So if they don't touch, it's, it's your hips. But if you can touch, if your knees can go all the way to your chest, your hip mobility is, at least your hip flexion is fine. Um, it's probably your ankles that need work. Can so that vertical it? shin. So like mine is not touching my chest right now. But like it's touching like my yeah. belly right now. Yeah, that's what I'm, but you can bring it out to the side a little bit more. Yep, and now pull in. Yeah. So now do that with both legs at the same time. Keep that width, get a little, yeah, get wide and then pull in, yeah. That looks good. Yeah. So something to think about is ankle mobility. So ankle mobility could mean stretching your calves. I mean, I think everyone knows how to stretch their calves, right? Um, do you uh, foam roll your calves, stretch your calves, and then just even working on that position, um, like getting down into a squat, and then just using your hands to try to push your knee over your toes, like one leg at a time. I've even seen some people take a barbell or a plate and you know try to get that knee over your toes. Um, that can be really helpful. Um, so just trying to get you know more flat foot, knee over your toe, ankle range of motion. Um, there's a lot more you can do, but it's you know going to be a little tough at home. Like putting a band around the rig and putting it around your ankle and doing some ankle mobilizations are really good. Um, but if you if just think about um, stretching and rolling your calves and then working on that bent knee, driving your knee over your toes, um, that can be helpful for the squat position a lot. Um, and then just accumulating time in that squat position, but thinking about where you are in space. So not just like, oh, I can hang out here all day, and my back is rounded, my shins are vertical, but like really spending some time, especially before you do any sort of squatting movement, that you're um, you know, in a good position and really warmed up. Um, so working on those squat positions, because then eventually you want to be able to do, if you can do this, getting into that squat and then pressing overhead, that's kind of like the ultimate mobility. Oh, if, you do, if you can do that, especially if you can do a barefoot, that's like a huge like, you know, mobility test for snatch. So think about spending time in the squat, stretching your ankles out, trying even with the PVC that sots press. And when you can do it without like whacking yourself in the head or falling over, um, then you know you're you know in a lot better position and video yourself too. Video, take pictures, because a lot of times you don't know where you are in space. You think you're past parallel and you think you're vertical. And then uh, you know, you see yourself and you're like, oh, I didn't know that. So, you know, take set up a camera and just take a couple of videos of yourself and just kind of analyze your own position and say, does that look good? Am I in a straight line? Am I below parallel? Um, because it's definitely, you know, you want to be in a safe position. Uh, you don't want to be working snatch with, you know, heavy weight if you can't get into a good position because then you're going to end up with, you know, shoulder pain or back pain from compensating. Cool. Does anybody have any questions for me on snatch technique or on the mobility stuff? Now, every week, are you going to be doing a different movement? Yeah, so we'll probably do clean next week and then we'll do jerk. And um, it just depends because if we have a lot of like the same people, you know, we'll be able to like progress things. If we're, you know, a lot of different people, then we might work on, you know, the same thing. Just kind of depends on who shows up and but yeah, I, my goal would be to like snatch and then clean and jerk or clean and then jerk and we can work on starting position. There's a lot of different things we can do. Um, but for the most part, I'm guessing more people are going to be like empty barbell or PVC. So it'll probably be more like technique drills than it will be like, you know, throwing a bunch of weight on and doing a bunch of full snatches from the ground. But, you know, if one day we have a bunch of people that have that ability, I'm more than happy to have them snatch and I can watch them at the end and um, give them corrections. So also open to feedback. Whatever you guys want to learn the most about weightlifting, you know, feel free to let me know too, and I'm happy to incorporate all those things. And I feel like everybody can get better at technique work. Oh, yeah. I mean, Literally. I've been doing this since 2009, so. 
<laughs> I mean, I still get new cues all the time. So like, yeah, it's just weightlifting is such a technical skill. Um, so mastering it, even with a PVC and an empty barbell is like really hard. And then let alone when you start adding weight on and then things start falling into, you know, <laughs> falling apart. So practice. And, and that other thing too, is like, don't wait for two more weeks. Well, you know, if we do clean next week and then jerk and you don't snatch between now and then like practice with your PVC or practice with your empty bar, all the things we just went over. Um, and that way you can actually make some improvement because this is not something that you do once and it's just going to be miraculously fixed. Like you got to practice this movements and patterns and positions over and over again. So practice, practice, practice. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks for coming, guys. Lauren, that, that was, was fabulous. Thank you. Do we need a picture? Sure. Picture. Everybody. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. I'm gonna end recording. <laughs>